Hello and welcome everyone. This presentation on the novel coronavirus is for the general public so that they can know about the infection and prevent themselves from the infection. So what is a coronavirus? It is a virus causing infection usually in animals and birds. So why it infected humans? Well, in the past, it has been known to cause mild cough and cold in humans too. Severe infections were not known in the past and it is only recently that we have come to know that they can cause severe infection in humans too. So what were the severe infections in the recent past? In the recent past, we had two severe infections by coronavirus, SARS in 2002 Middle East Respiratory Syndrome in 2012. So is this new novel coronavirus that we are seeing every day in our, the news, is it really very deadly? SARS in 2002 had a mortality rate of 9.5%. MERS in 2012 had a mortality rate of 35%. The new novel coronavirus which are we are seeing recently has a mortality rate of 2.1 percent so there is definitely no reason to be panicky about it and there is no need to think that it is a deadly disease and if i get the disease i will definitely die the mortality rate is only two percent which is not very high let's look at some common myths and how the who response to those myths can pets at home spread the new coronavirus at present there is no evidence that companion animals or pets such as dogs and cats can infect the new coronavirus but it is always a good idea to wash your hands with soap and water after contact with pets to prevent yourself from other diseases like E. coli and salmonella infections. Are antibiotics effective in preventing and treating the new coronavirus? No, antibiotics do not work in viruses, they work only in bacteria. But if you are hospitalized, there is a chance you will receive antibiotics since bacterial co-infection is a possibility in this disease. Are there any specific medications to prevent or treat the new coronavirus? To date, there is no specific medication recommended to prevent or treat this particular disease. However, the infection with the virus should be appropriately taken care of to relieve the symptoms and treat the symptoms. And those with severe illness will receive optimized supportive care. Some specific treatments are under investigations and may be tested on you while you are admitted with this particular disease. But as of now, there is no specific treatment and do not be fooled by rumors. Travel advisory. Stay healthy while traveling. Avoid travel if you have a fever or cough. If you have a fever and cough, difficulty breathing, seek medical advice early. Share your previous travel history with the care provider. Avoid close contact with people suffering from fever and cough while traveling. Frequently wash your hands with alcohol-based hand rubs or with soap and water. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth while you are traveling. When coughing and sneezing, cover your mouth and nose with a flexed elbow or tissue. Throw the tissue away immediately. If you choose to wear a face mask, be sure to cover your mouth and nose, avoid touching mask once it's on. Immediately discard a single-use mask after each use. Using a mask is not mandatory, so there is no reason to wear a mask. But if you are wearing, please follow the following steps. If you become sick while traveling, inform the crew and seek a medical care early. If you seek medical attention, share your travel history always with the healthcare provider, especially if you are suffering from cough and cold. Eat only well-cooked food, avoid spitting in public, avoid close contact 
with animals that are sick? How can I prevent myself from this infection? This is very important. It can't be overemphasized more. Wash your hands. This is the only method which has been shown to reduce the risk of infection. Wash your hands with soap and water. If they're visibly dirty, if they're not visibly dirty, frequently use an alcohol-based hand rub to wash your hands. When should I wash my hands? Wash your hands after coughing or sneezing or after taking care of a sick patient, before or during after preparing food, before eating, after using the toilet, when hands are visibly dirty or after handling any animal or animal waste. When sneezing, sneeze with covering your mouth and nose with a flexed elbow or a tissue. Throw tissue into closed bin immediately after use. Clean your hands with alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water after cupping and sneezing or after you have taken care of a sick patient. This is how you should sneeze. Do not sneeze into your hand because it will spread the infection further. Always sneeze into a flexed elbow or use a tissue. How do I protect others from getting sick? Avoid close contact when you're experiencing cough and fever. Avoid spitting in public. If you have fever, cough and difficulty breathing, seek a medical advice early and always share your travel history with your care provider. Food safety. Practice food safety. Use different chopping board and knife for raw meat and cooked meat. Wash your hands between handling raw and cooked meat. Sick animals and animals that have died of disease should not be eaten. Even in areas experiencing outbreak, meat products can be safely consumed if these products are cooked thoroughly properly handled during food preparation. So if you handle your meat properly, you can use them and eat them. Thank you. I hope this message will be helpful. Please share the video with all your relatives and friends. Thanks.